Oh, welcome to 12 noon prayers in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 65, verse 2, it says, Oh, that I hear this prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. You consciously appreciate God for quick answers to prayer as we intercede for his kingdom. Father, we say thank you. Lift up your voice, begin to appreciate the Lord. Father, in the name of Jesus, we thank you, appreciate you, Lord, for quick answers to prayer as we pray for your kingdom. He said, call unto me, I will answer thee and show thee great and mighty things which are thy knowing not. Lord, thank you, thank you, thank you for quick answers to prayer as we pray for your kingdom. Salvation, Mr. God, servant, every be me, and everyone genuinely connected. Be thy exalted, mighty God, in Jesus' name. God is ever faithful. Appreciate him. Let's worship the King of Kings. Thy steadfast love of the Lord never sees yet. His mercies never come to an end. They Fast love, thy state fast love of the Lord never ceases. It never ceases, mercies never come to an end. Celebrate Jesus is worthy. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. We serve a God who never fails. Who never fails. We never ever fail. Forevermore we serve a God. We serve a God. We serve a God. Who never fails. Who never fails. Who never fails. He can never, never, never. He's no man that reach you like. We serve a God. Serve a God. Serve a God. Omnipotent Father. Who never fails? Who never fails? He can never, never, never. What you say you do? We serve a God, serve a God, serve a God. Omnipotent Father. Who never fails? Who never fails? Who never fails? He can never, never, never. It's not a man that reach you like. We serve a God, serve a God, serve a God. Omnipotent Father. Who never fails. Who never fails. Forevermore. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. 
You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. No one to be compared with you, mighty God. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy, mighty Redeemer. You are worthy to be glorified. We magnify your name, ancient of days. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy, you are worthy, mighty Redeemer. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. You are. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are worthy. You are worthy, Jesus. You are. You are worthy, worthy. You are worthy to be glorified. You are so good and kind. You are so good, mighty God. You are so good and kind. You are so good. You are so good and kind. You are so good. Mighty God, you are so good and kind. You are so good. For 27 years, you've been so good. You are so good. For 27 years, you've been so kind. You are so good. You are so good and kind. You are so good. Mighty God, you are so good and kind. You are so good. Mighty Redeemer, so good and kind. You are so good. You are good, you are good, you are good, you are so good. You are good, you are good, you are good, so good. Mighty God, you are so good and kind, you are so good. Jehovah Shama, so good and kind, you are so good. Jehovah Nisi, so good and kind, you are so good. Mighty God, you are so good and kind, you are so good. For 27 years you've been so good, you are so good. For 27 years you've been so kind, you are so good. Mighty God, you are so good and kind, you are so good. Mighty Redeemer, so good and kind. Indeed, He's good. Continue to appreciate Him, give Him praise. Heavenly Father, we celebrate your goodness, your kindness. Be thou exalted, Heavenly Father, always. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. In this section, we'll be praying for the church salvation ministries. In Isaiah chapter 35 and in verse 10, it is written, And the ransomed of the Lord shall return, and come to Zion with songs and everlasting joy upon their heads. They shall obtain joy and gladness, and sorrow and sighing shall flee away. You will cleanse that out from staring attacks against salvation ministries to corrupt the success of our 27th anniversary celebration. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, the thief cometh not but for to steal, to kill, and to destroy. But it is written, he prevailed not. Neither was his place found anymore. We come against you, Satan, the devil. Any attempt to steer up any form of attack against salvation ministries to corrupt the success of the just concluded 27 years anniversary. We come against you in the name of Jesus. We take authority in the name of Jesus. We pardon you with so far. The blood of Jesus against you. It is written, whoever came you by the blood of the Lamb and by the words of our testimony. Satan, we take authority. We clear you any attempt to instigate any issue of concern to cause the church to run your task this season and beyond, we come against you in the mighty name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus against you. It is written, my people, they shall dwell in a peaceable habitation, in shore and quiet dressing places. We cause your words, any attempt to stir up any form of violence, any issue of concern around the bad salvation ministries or our arms and branches globally. We come against you, the devil. We bind you. The blood of Jesus against you. Your works are frustrated. You are not permitted. And you are around salvation ministries because it is written, oppression shall be far from her in the name of Jesus. 
In Jesus' precious mighty name. In Isaiah chapter 28 and in verse 18 it is written. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. You pray against the sting of death from attacking salvation ministries and all her arms through enemies. You will cancel every sentence of death against her by the blood of Jesus Christ. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus it is written. And your covenant with death shall be disannulled. And your agreement with hell shall not stand. Salvation ministries shall not be joined with them in burial says the Lord. You spirit of death any attempt to invade salvation ministries, any of our arm globally we come against you in the name of Jesus. The blood of Jesus against you. It is written we shall not die. Salvation we shall not die but live to testify the good works of God. That is how it will be. Death shall not permitted. Anywhere around salvation ministries in any of our arm, this season and beyond we come against you spirit of death the word of God says there shall be no law in the name of Jesus, that you are not permitted around salvation ministries this season and beyond by enemies. We come against you, we rebuke you, we bind you, we chase you far. The blood of Jesus against you, that we chase you far, far from anything that be a salvation ministry globally. In the name of Jesus Christ, in the precious mighty name of Jesus, in Proverbs chapter 19 and in verse 5, it is written. A false witness shall not be unpunished, and he that speaketh lies shall not escape. You pray to silence any person or organization that wants to spread lies or misinterpretations against salvation ministries because of the success of our 27th anniversary celebration to corrupt the global acceptance she has enjoyed from inception. Open your mouth and begin to pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, the word of God says Satan is the father of all lies. We cause the tongue of the devil and his agent from spreading lies against salvation ministries in the mighty name of Jesus. Death of any kind, lies of any kind from any medium. In the name of Jesus, we cause the tongue of the devil. We cause the tongue of his agent. We cause any medium they are using, they want to use to spread lies against salvation ministries. In the mighty name of Jesus, we cause their resources inclusive. In the name of Jesus, anyone planning or is already spreading any form of lies, misrepresentation of salvation salvation ministry by any means in the name of Jesus we nullify such lies it shall not stand say the law and it is spoken wrongly against salvation ministry we nullify it in the name of Jesus it is written the voice of the stranger shall they not hear in the mighty name of Jesus he said let the lying lips be put to silence any lips speaking lies against salvation ministry we condemn such lips now in the name of Jesus we cause the resources we cause all their platforms of spreading lies against salvation ministries in the name of Jesus. So to us, we now have the means, the resources to spread lies against salvation ministries. We shut their mouth completely and totally in the mighty name of Jesus. No lie, no misrepresentation of salvation ministries. We stand now and forever in the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious mighty name of Jesus. In Isaiah chapter 8 and in verse 9 it is written, Associate yourself, O you people, and you shall be broken in pieces. And give ye, O your far country. Give yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces. Give yourselves, and you shall be broken in pieces, says the Lord. You pray to destroy any conspiracy to attack salvation ministries by any means. As a result of the success of our 27th anniversary celebration, you will decree the death of anyone that dares to carry out any evil in any location where she's found. Open your mouth and begin to pray name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, surely they shall gather, but not by me. And they that gather against salvation ministry shall surely fall. In the name of Jesus, we command the destruction of every gathering of persons, individuals, organizations against salvation ministry from any quarter of the world. We command their destruction right now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, it is written, why do do he is right. Why do they imagine vain things? He said the Lord will have them in derision. He will dash them into pieces like the potter's vessel. Anyone that wants to attack salvation ministry, conspire to attack salvation ministry, we decree that death this hour in the name of Jesus. He said let death is upon them. Let them go that quickly to hell for there is wickedness in their midst. Anyone thinking, 
planning any form of wickedness against service of ministries, we cause them. Let them go down. In the name of Jesus, he said the angels will persecute them. Let the angels of God, wherever they are, persecute them this hour. In the name of Jesus Christ. In the precious mighty name of Jesus. In Hebrews chapter 9 and in verse 22, it is written, all things are by the law purged with the blood. You will use the blood of Jesus to nullify any evil, fire outbreak, collapse of building, sudden death, emergencies of spiritual manipulations, programmed against salvation ministries, and all that concerns are now and beyond. Open your mouth and pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. He said, All things are by the law. Pouch with blood, blotting out the handwriting of the ordinance, which is against salvation ministry. The Lord took it out of the way and led it to the cross. Every program of the enemy, any program of the devil against salvation ministry, we blot it out by the blood of Jesus. We blot it out by the blood. It shall not stand in the mighty name of Jesus. Everything written, programmed to corrupt the peace, joy, salvation ministry is enjoying. We command it to be blotted out by the blood. In the name of Jesus Christ. In Jesus' mighty name. In 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verse 16, it is written, Now the Lord of peace himself give you peace always and by all means. The Lord be with you all. You ask the Lord of peace to keep salvation ministries, her hands, projects, and facilities in all our stations in perfect peace throughout this celebration season and beyond. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, it is written, My peace I live with you. My peace I give unto you. Not as the word give, give I thee. Let your heart not be troubled. Father, we pray in the name of Jesus. Give your kind of peace to salvation ministries. Peace without any form of trouble. Without any issue of concern. In the name of Jesus. Peace that will cause us not to be troubled at any point in time. Peace that will bring joy. joy, All rankedness in salvation ministry globally. In all her arms. In the name of Jesus. Peace that will bring only good report to salvation ministries. Give us Lord. In Jesus' precious mighty name. Finally, in Matthew chapter 15 and verse 13, it is written, But he answered and said, Every plant which my heavenly Father not planted shall be rooted up. As the Lord to clear every obstacle, human or otherwise, to the speedy completion of salvation, he can do the project and release divine favor and supernatural spirit to her. Open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we pray to forsake every device of the enemy that is frustrating, delaying the completion of the cathedral project in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, continue to further, continue to favor the project for speedy completion. In Jesus' precious mighty name, we are praying. I appreciate God. In Jesus' mighty name, we'll be taking additional prayers in this section. Isaiah 40 verse 5, and the glory of the Lord shall be revealed and all flesh shall see it together for the mouth of the Lord has spoken it. You ask the Lord to launch salvation ministries and all her various arms into another realm of glory in this new phase leading to continuous global recognition, growth and dominion. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. He said, behold, I will proceed to do a marvelous work and even a wonder. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask that you launch your church salvation ministries, our first self-fellowship arm, our publication arms, our academic arms into another realm of your glory. This new phase in the mighty name of Jesus, let your glory rest mightily upon your church that will lead to an unusual increase, that will lead to global recognition, that will lead to growth and expansion. Lord, we ask that your glory rest upon your church salvation missions that will give us dominion, even over the online space, using the online morning devotion as a point of contact. Lord, we ask that you launch your church into a phase where all men from all nations, all race, all ethnicity will be part and parcel of your church salvation ministries in the mighty name of Jesus. You say you do a new thing. Shall we not know it? Lord, we ask that you do a new thing upon your church salvation ministries let your glory rest mightily upon her let every nation of the globe know of your church and let us enjoy membership from all nations in the name of Jesus Psalm 2 verse 8 acts of me and I shall give thee the hidden for thy inheritance and the utmost part of the earth for thy possession pray that the hidden across the globe shall be given to salvation ministries for our possession in this high new phase leading to a church without borders experience pray in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus, he said, and every place that the soul of your feet shall tread upon, that have I given thee. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask for every nation of the globe, 
wherever the hiddens are, the unsaved are, Lord, we ask that you give them to your church salvation ministries for a possession in every location where we are planted globally. Lord, we ask that you give to us the hidden in such locations in the mighty name of Jesus. Lord, the online space, as many that are saved, Lord, we ask that you compel them to be part of your church salvation ministries. Give them unto us in the mighty name of Jesus. So the Lord added to his church more to do that all to be saved on a daily basis. Lord, we ask for as many that are saved, as many that are backslidden for one reason or the other. Lord, we ask that you restore them to your to the faith. Restore them and plant them. Cause them to be rooted in your church salvation ministries. It's a great multitude with no man good number stood before the throne. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we ask in all our program and services that you compel much to flow in. Let overflow be our portion in the name of Jesus. Malachi 4 verse 1, but in the last day shall come to pass that the mountain of the house of the Lord shall be established in the top of the mountains and shall be exalted above the hills and people shall flow unto it. Pray that all services and program of salvation ministries indoors and outdoor will gain greater global recognition, attraction and acceptance in this high new age, leading people of all races and tongues into her. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, send the Gentiles shall come to thy light and kings to the brightness of thy rising. Lord, in the mighty name of Jesus, we ask in all our services, all our programs, indoors, outdoor, both online, we ask that you gather multitude in the name of Jesus by spreading the fame of your church to the ends of the earth in the name of Jesus. Lord, we ask using all our publication materials, our handbills, our hymn billboards. Lord, we ask that you use them to attract multitude from every nation, from every tribe to be part of our services, both indoors, both outdoors, both online in the name of Jesus. Let every man from all nations accept your church salvation ministries in the name of Jesus. Let salvation ministries become a church for all races, for all tongues in the name of Jesus. And the fame of your son Jesus went throughout the whole region. Lord, let the fame of salvation ministries go through the ends of the earth, compelling all men to be part of our services and programs in the name of Jesus. First Samuel 9 verse 6, and he said unto him, behold now, there is in this city a man of God. He's an honorable man. All that he said comes surely to pass. Isaiah 44 verse 26. That confirming the word of his servant and performing the counsel of his messengers. You decree that the declaration by David the Biomer concerning salvation ministries before the 28th anniversary shall not fail. And every force of hell that wants to contend against it be destroyed. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus, so shall be the word that proceeds out of the mouth of his servant, David, your man. It shall not return void, but I accomplish that which he please. We decree and declare that every word that has gone forth by David, the man, in favor of salvation ministries and in every direction they have spoken it, we decree shall not fail in the mighty name of Jesus. Whatever he said must surely come to pass. His expectation shall not be cut short. We decree and declare that testimonies will spring forth by the declarations by the word, by the prophecy of David the man. He said who is it that said a thing and it comes to pass when the Lord has not commanded it. Any force of hell, whosoever wants to stand against the manifestation of the words from David the man, by the blood of Jesus, we destroy such ones, we bring them down to the subjection of Christ in Jesus mighty name. Last thing in this section, Psalm 89, verse 20. I have found David my servant with my holy oil have I anointed him. You pray for the release of fresh grace and wisdom upon David Biome for an unusual impact and exploit in this new phase of salvation ministries. Pray in the mighty name of Jesus. In the mighty name of Jesus. And the spirit of the Lord shall rest upon him. The spirit of wisdom, understanding, counsel, and might, and of knowledge. Lord, we ask for a fresh release of your grace upon your servant, David May, for signs, for wonders, for impacts. In the name of Jesus, as he ministers, Lord, we ask that every saved shall be, every unsaved, every backslidden shall be saved. Everyone coming, their life shall be transformed. In the name of Jesus, this new phase of your church, salvation ministries, the wisdom needed to cause your church to excel. Lord, we ask that you grant to your servant of your man, let the auction of grace answer to him maximally this new face in Jesus' mighty name. The Lord has had us appreciate him. Thank you. We give you all the glory in Jesus' name. This session shall be praying for our Father in the Lord, David Ibiome, his family, and genuine loved ones. 
In Psalm 89 verse 22, the enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Pray against the devil and stop all his plans to attack the life, family, and genuine loved ones of David Ibiomia to corrupt the joy of the season. Lift up your voice. Pray Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, the enemy shall not exalt upon him, nor the son of wickedness afflict him. Every position Satan has taken or intends to take to steer up any form of attack against the life, family, and genuine loved ones of David Ibiomia to cause accident, to cause calamity, to cause tension, confusion, any form of evil or current, either spiritually or physically, Satan will take authority over you, will bind you, will cast you out. No weapon formed against them shall prosper. Every weapon of Satan to corrupt their peace and joy through any act of wickedness, Satan will give you no place. The blood of Jesus is against all your works, the Lord has taken away the judgment of David Ibiomi and family and all that concerns them. The Lord has cast out their enemy, the king of Israel. Even the Lord is in their midst. They shall not see evil anymore. We declare a wall of fire, a shield of defense, run about all that concerns them. In Jesus' name. Hosea 13 verse 14. I will ransom them from the power of the grave. I will redeem them from death. O death, I will be thy plagues. O grave, I will be thy destruction. Pray against the spirit of death and destruction from attacking the life, family, and loved ones of David Ibiomia this season and beyond. Curse the sting of death now and always. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, The Lord has delivered their souls from death, their eyes from tears, and their feet from falling. In my name, Jesus said, we shall cast out devils. In the name of Jesus, we take authority over the spirit of death, sickness, and destruction from gaining access into the life, family, and all the loved ones of David Ibiomi. Death through sickness, death through fear, death through invocation, death through enchantment, death through enemies. We bind you, we clear you by the blood of Jesus. The blood of Jesus is a Against all forces of death, there shall be no more death, there shall be no more sorrow, no crying. With authority, in the name of Jesus, we curse the sting of death in the life, family, and all the loved ones of David Ibiomi throughout this season and beyond. They shall not die, they shall live. In Jesus' mighty name. Isaiah 49 verse 25. But death saith the Lord, even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with him that contended with thee and I will save thy children. Pray to lose anyone connected to David Ibiomi and his family head bound awaiting death or destruction. Decree that none of them will be victim of sudden death. Pray in Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ it is written. As for thee also by the blood of thy covenant, have I sent for the prisoners out of the pit wherein is no water. By the blood of Jesus, we lose and rescue anyone connected to David, the Bioman family. Satan has appointed for sudden death. We lose them by the blood of Jesus. For the sake of Abraham, Lord was delivered. Jesus said, lose him and let him go. Whoever they may be, Connected to David Ibiomi generally. Satan has marked for death or bearing death sentence. We lose them by the blood of Jesus. We rescue them now. They shall not die. They shall live. No evil shall befall them. In the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Isaiah 31 verse 17 to 18. Let me not be ashamed, O Lord, for I have called upon thee. Let the wicked be ashamed, and let them be silenced in the grave. Let the lying lips be put to silence, which speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous. Pray to silence and frustrate any person or persons who intend to speak against David Ibiome by any means as a result of the success of the 27th anniversary celebration. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, it is written, let the lying lips be put to silence that speak grievous things proudly and contemptuously against the righteous with silence. In the name of Jesus, 
every tongue speaking negative things against David Ibiome to tarnish his image, to turn the hearts of people away from him. We cause such tongues. We command the tongues of the wicked to cleave to the roof of their mouth whatever they have spoken against David Ibiome, against his family and ministry. We blot them out by the blood of Jesus. All they have spoken shall not stand or come to pass. We cause your tongue every tongue that shall rise up against thee in judgment thou shalt condemn we condemn their tongue we silence their mouth we cause them in the name of jesus in jesus name first thessalonians 5 and verse 3 for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them and they shall not escape with holy anger sentenced to death any agent of the devil such as armed robbers kidnappers killers or manipulators planning to attack the life family or genuine loved ones of david ibiomir raise your voice pray in jesus mighty name in the name of jesus it is written I will beat down his foes before his face and plague them that hate him. Says, since thou was precious in my eyes, thou hast been honorable and I have loved thee. I will give men in exchange for their lives. With holy anger, we sentence to instant destruction. Any agent of Satan, witches, wizards, armed robbers, kidnappers, killers, manipulators, whoever they may be, as they are yet thinking and planning to attack David Ibiome, will declare their destruction. Let instant destruction come upon them at unawares. Let their nets they have hit catch themselves. Into that very destruction they are planning. Let them be victims of all their evil plans. They shall not live to make any attempt against David Bowman family. We command fear and dread of all our concerns. David Bowman family rest upon the wicked ones. Rest upon all his enemies now and always. In Jesus name. Mark 16 and verse 17. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. Use the name of Jesus to clear whatever wants to attack the health of David Ibiome and his family now or in the future. Ask the Lord to strengthen and keep them in perfect health always. Pray in Jesus mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ. Say no weapon formed against David Ibiome, his family and general loved ones shall prosper. Every weapon of the devil to attack the health, to attack the vitality of David Ibiomia, his family, and all connected to him, either now or in the future, Satan will come against you by the blood of Jesus. We cast you out, we frustrate all your plans. Say, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. Lord, strengthen them on every side. This is not beyond. Keep them in perfect health. They shall not be weary. They shall not get tired. They shall not faint. In Jesus' name. Lastly, in this session, Second Chronicles 20 and verse 30. So the realm of Jehoshaphat was quiet, for his God gave him rest round about. Psalm 119 verse 165. Great peace have they which love thy law, and nothing shall by any means offend them. Use the blood of Jesus to clear any evil programmed against David, Ibiome, and his family as a result of the success of the 27th anniversary celebration. Raise your voice. Pray in Jesus' mighty name. In the name of Jesus Christ, we come against the devil. Every weapon, every thing Satan has prepared against the peace, against the safety, against all that concerns the well-being of David Biome, we command all the works of Satan be destroyed by the blood of Jesus. For this purpose, Jesus Christ was manifested that he might destroy all the works of the devil. Every work of Satan targeted against the life, against the family, against the genuine loved ones of David Ibiome to corrupt their joy, to corrupt their peace, to corrupt their safety throughout this season of celebration and beyond will command all the works of the devil be destroyed by the blood of Jesus Christ. Whatever Satan has prepared shall not stand nor come to pass much more than being unjustified by the blood of Jesus. David and my family are rescued are delivered from every wrath. Everything prepared shall not stand. Blood of Jesus, justify them now and always. In Jesus' name, lift your voice, give God thanks and glory. In Jesus' mighty name. This session we are praying for Swobi students.
and Janio Wash Pass globally. But firstly, we'll be praying for Swobi students. In Ecclesiastes 3 verse 14, I know that whatsoever God doeth, it shall be forever. Nothing can be put to it, nor anything taken from it. And God doeth it that men should fear before him. Pray against whatever wants to tamper with the blessing. Gen- students in Swobi encounter, declare that their testimonies shall be permanent. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, I know that whatsoever the Lord doeth shall be forever. For this purpose, the Son of God was manifested that I might destroy all the works of the devil targeted to tamper with the blessings of students in Swobe. They've encountered with concert work of the devil. The Lord rebuke you, Satan. Even the God of Jacob rebuke you. We rebuke you, the devil. We cast you out in the name of Jesus. Christ, we command all your plot be destroyed in the name of Jesus Christ. Thy testimonies are sure. Oh God, we declare that your testimonies shall be permanent in the name of Jesus Christ. I know that whatsoever the Lord doeth shall be forever. All your testimonies shall be forever in the name of Jesus. In Luke 1 verse 3, it seemed good to me also having had a perfect understanding of all things from the very first, as the Holy Spirit enlightened the understanding of Swobi students and make them live triumphantly in all aspects of life. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, good understanding, give it favor, then open it, the understanding, that they might understand the scriptures, spirit of the living God, we ask that you enlighten the understanding of Swobi students and make them live triumphantly in every aspect of life. In the name of Jesus Christ, the Lord gives wisdom and from his mouth come knowledge and understanding. Oh God of heaven, we pray that you enlighten the understanding standard of Swobi students and make them live triumphantly in every aspect of life. The people that do know that God shall be strong and do exploits in the name of Jesus Christ. Ye have the unction of the only one. Ye know all things in the name of Jesus. Now we'll be praying for Jenny Washpass. In John 10 verse 10, the thief cometh not but for to steal and to kill and to destroy. I am come that they might have life and have it more and that they might have it more abundantly. Pray to stop every plan of the devil and his agents to launch attacks, including death against your life, family, and genuine wash pass in salvation ministries. Decree absolute peace and comfort for us. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, there shall no evil happen to the just, Satan, the devil, any attempt to attack or genuinely connected to salvation ministries with death, we shall not die, but live to declare the words of the law, the blood of Jesus is against you, we clear you far, we cast you out, you are not permitted to attack our lives, you are not permitted to attack our families, for my peace I give unto thee, not as you were given, the Lord shall bless his people with peace, with decree, absolute peace, and not and comfort for comfort here, comfort here, my people, in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 35, verse 8, let destruction come upon him at turn away and let his net that he has hid catch himself into that very destruction. Let him fall, sentence to death any agent of the devil planning to tamper with the life, business, k- academies, career, or blessings of genuine wash pass in salvation ministries. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, arise, O God. Let all thy enemies be scattered. The Lord shall scatter to pieces the bones of death that come against thee. The Lord turn the ways of the wicked upside down. O God of heaven, we sentence to his and death and dissociation. Any agent of the devil planning to tamper with our life, our business, our academies, our career, our blessings, as they are planning or thinking, the Lord shall shoot at them with an arrow. Suddenly they shall be wounded. We contend with them. We cause them in the name of the Lord. They will die in the name of Jesus. In Psalm 1 to 2, verse 6. 
Pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper the love thee. Pray for peace and progress in every nation of the earth using Nigeria as a point of contact. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, pray for the peace of Jerusalem. They shall prosper. The Lord, thee. the Lord shall bless his people with peace. And the Lord advanced Moses and Aaron. And the Lord said unto him, Go forward. Lord, we pray for peace and progress in every nation of the earth. Using Nigeria as a point of contact. The nation will enjoy peace and progress in the name of Jesus. We'll be going before the Lord in personal prayers in John 14 verse 13. And whatsoever ye shall ask in my name, that will I do, that the Father may be glorified in the Son. Present your personal request to God for divine intervention. Raise your voice. Pray in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. In Psalm 91 verse 11, He shall give His angels charge over thee, command the angels of God to watch over salvation ministers globally, our service tonight, God's servant, the Abraham family, and all genuinely connected. Pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, in Jesus of the living God, watch over salvation ministries globally, all our practice installation, God's servant David Bremer, his wife P.C. Bremer, David and son, our service tonight, protect, preserve, everyone coming, saying, returning, ensure and peace in the name of Jesus. We'll be engaging the mystery of the blood of Jesus in Exodus 12, verse 13b. And when I see the blood, I will pass over, plead the blood of Jesus over salvation ministries globally. Tonight's service, God's servant, the Abraham family, all genuinely connected. Raise your voice, pray in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus Christ, when I see the blood, I will pass over blood of Jesus over salvation ministers, all our practice installation, tonight's service, God's servant, the Abraham family, all coming, staying and returning, the blood of Jesus protect, preserve, defend us, the blood of Jesus, word of every form of evil, in the name of Jesus. I appreciate God, he has heard us. Father, we thank you, we give you glory and praise, in Jesus' mighty name. Please let's listen to the following information. Do well to be a part of tonight's service by 5 p.m. and come along with a soul. Remember to invite others to join the online morning devotion tomorrow morning by 7 a.m. These prayers continues tomorrow. The grace and fellowship.